Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. <laughs> Well, today we are in one of the largest campgrounds that I think I've ever seen in the national parks here in Alberta and this one is called Tunnel Mountain so they, they have like three big campsites they're all kind of grouped together right now I'm in the actual village one and there's actually village two which is at the far back and in between village one and village two they call it like trailer court it's shaped very differently it's meant for people that have rvs it's not set up like a typical campground at all so i'm going to do my best to try to cover as much as i can with all three sites all in the same video we're at the beginning of village one here and this is obviously where you would stop to check in this site you'll find like loops but they're not quite loops they're almost like rectangles so I'm guessing that there's like day use areas in each one hopefully there's gonna be showers and bathrooms in each one we're gonna go check all of these out at the same time I'm gonna be enjoying this wonderful view here that I have right here at the village one campground here in Banff National Park The actual main spot in campsite B or in loop B I should say and these are the washrooms and there's actually two showers in here and you can see at the far back there's a sink so you can do your dishes and there's also a place here to store your food there's a lot of these sites especially in the middle of the loops they're a lot smaller it's really only designed for a tent I don't think you'd be able to get an RV in here if you're in a motorcycle and let's say tenting then you would almost need this for sure to store your food so in the middle of each of these letter loops you'll find one of these and then you'll also besides the washrooms and the showers and the water you'll find your recycling and your garbage and they'll even take care of like empty propane bottles you'll also find uh, an extra water tap you can fill water and bring it to your campsite and this is the first time i've seen this in one of the parks is that it's actually fed through natural gas a lot of them use electricity but since we're so close to the town and all the infrastructure was kind of here they have gas burners
And right in the middle of the four bottom loops, you find this nifty little theater, the Raven's Nest. They probably have shows here for the kids because I've seen some of those at Johnson's Canyon Campground. They had stuff going on almost every night in the summer. This might just be the highlight point of the campground. Right at Village One, as soon as you go up past the first four loops, there's A, B, C, D, you hit a set of power lines. The three loops that are close to the power lines, they seem to have a slightly better view because there's a chunk missing of the trees. So it gives you kind of a clear opening. So you get kind of this fake 360 view where you have trees and trees, but then you have Cascade Mountain in the front and Rendell Mountain at the back and then you just have to turn around to see both, so it's kind of neat. So, so far what I can tell about the campsites is most of them have the fire pit, like stationary, like most campgrounds. Most of them have uh, concrete picnic tables, especially all the ones that I've seen at the four lower sections, A, B, C, and D, they have like these big concrete tables, which last a long time, but sometimes you just want to be able to move them slightly for your tent or whatever, which you can't do in this, in this case. But overall, it's a really nice little campground. There's a lot of sites here, so it's probably not that difficult to get a site here. But if you're a keener, you can kind of book your stuff early on in the season if you know especially which site you want to go. There's this one campground that I, I will rent every single time. And if I'm going to Lake Louise and I'm planning to go there and I want to use a tent, I will book them in January. And it's that same site almost every single time. So everybody's got their own preferences. So let's go check out the rest of Tunnel Mountain campgrounds because there's way more to see besides village one there's village two and then there's the trailer court that's kind of in between so let's go check those out around and came out of Tunnel Mountain Village 1 camp and there's like a bunch of mountain biking trails that go at the back and then it veers out and there's another trail that comes back on this side of the power lines and it comes down to the second portion of the campground which is Tunnel Mountain Trailer Court and basically these are all pretty much the same there's nine rows and they all have a picnic table and they'll have sewage and then they'll have water 
and power. And there's also showers and washrooms, I think kind of in each row. The other thing that I noticed here is that there's no fire pits. They want to permanently put the fire pits down in the ground and then there's no way to put do that here without interfering with the campground. You can just pull in, set up your stuff and then pull out and then you don't have to worry about backing in trees, that kind of stuff on some of these campgrounds where sometimes people bring RVs that are a little bit too large for what they should be putting in there. The main difference between Tunnel Mountain Trailer Court and Tunnel Mountain Village 2, it's just that this one here I think is older and there's a lot of trees there. The one at Village 2 has barely any trees at all so you're completely exposed to the sun. So you'll have to have your own shade or whatever you need to cover from the sun if you're at Village 2. So I think the trailer court center is actually the best one. But the Village 2, I think, is open all year round. So I think this one, they only maintain it during the summertime. And the Village 2, you can go and camp there if you want uh, in the middle of December, if you have an RV, that kind of stuff. If you're skiing, yada, 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 people camp in the winter, so you can go there and camp if you want. So let's go check out Village 2, show you guys what that looks like. And in the meantime, I'll also show you guys a little bit what the restrooms and stuff look like here. There's a bunch, you don't have to go very far. And most people that have RVs will have washrooms in their RVs for the most part. So let's keep on hiking and show you guys that. Peace out. Well, this is definitely one of the best kept secrets, I guess, of Tunnel Mountain Campground because these are the Otentics. It's kind of a different little name and they introduced these a few years ago and they've been popping up all over the place. Uh, there's some at Two Jack Lake and I've seen a bunch that popped up at the Whistler's Campground in, in Jasper and they would cost about twice as much as the normal campground for a night, but it's still significantly cheaper to rent one of these than it is to go in any hotel room in Banff, especially during the summer seasons. But these probably go fairly quick. Kind of a quaint little spot because they're at the back of the campground and then here you have access to two different uh, day use areas. So you can go and cook your food. What you would need is a picnic table and you have a fire pit over there and you have a bear locker there if you want, don't want to go to your vehicle. Every single one of these authentic spots has uh, a, one parking spot so you can park your vehicle and then you have the day use area for to use your, your water in your kitchen. You just have to cross the road right there and there's another sink and there's another set of washrooms with showers. So that's like super close by. I just seen the bus go by. So if you even want to go to the gondola or go inside of Banff, because we're a little bit more on the outskirts here, it's easy to get public transportation. So it's kind of like a, an easy spot if you don't camp often and you want to 
camp without having to bring a bunch of stuff here you hardly need anything and then this one has an amazing view of mount rundle right in front of me there and you can see tunnel mountain can't go wrong with camping here Well, this is everything I can show you about Tunnel Mountain Campground here, Village 1, Village 2, and the trailer courts here. I hope that this video helps you decide where you want to camp when you come to Banff National Park and explore these gorgeous mountains. And I'm Eric Chambly, and these are my adventures. Peace out, everyone. <laughs>